Now here's an example where we'll try to figure out what the logic tells us about equivalence of statements. Determine which, if any, of the three given statements are equivalent. If I'm not feeling well, I'm grouchy. I'm feeling well or I'm grouchy. If I'm feeling well, I'm not grouchy. We'll begin by designating I'm not feeling well as statement P. I'm grouchy we'll call statement Q. Now we're going to put each of the individual statements into symbolic format. If I'm not feeling well, I'm grouchy would be if P, then Q. I'm feeling well or I'm grouchy would be the negation of P or Q. If I'm feeling well would be the negation of P, then I'm not grouchy would be the negation of Q. Now, we have two conditionals, but our middle statement is written as a disjunction. We're going to change that first into a conditional in order to compare. To change it, we're going to rewrite this as if not Q, then P. Now, let's consider whether we have anything that's going to be equivalent. Well, we know that a conditional is equivalent to its contrapositive. So first of all, do we have the contrapositive of if P then Q? No, that would require us to change the order and change the truth values. We don't have either of those fitting that case. So let's go to the second one. Are these two going to be equivalent to each other? Well, the contrapositive of if not P then not Q would be if Q then P, which doesn't fit the middle section. So what we can determine is that none of the three given statements are equivalent.